So I know y'all are already gonna know what this video is gonna be about because y'all gonna read the title and see the thumbnail, but I have no clue what I wanna do right now. So I'm gonna just flip a coin. It's between doing my nails with paper or doing my nails with tape. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and find a coin flipping app. There's literally an app for everything, oh my gosh. All right, so heads is paper, tails is tape. So it says shake or tap to flip coin, let's shake it. What did it do? <gasps> tails, did I say tails tape? <gasps> We're doing tape news. Okay, let's go. going on guys welcome back to another video and as y'all already know we're doing five minute crabs nail hacks so we're trying them out seeing if they work seeing if they don't seeing if it's worth your time so we are doing our nails with some tape we got the tape right here. So before we get too deep in the video, I want to give a big shout out to my notification shout out squad. Thank you guys so much for having your post notifications turned on. And if you like a shout out just like these three people, all you have to do is make sure you are subscribed to my channel and you have your post notifications turned on. That way you can be one of the first three people to comment and you'll get a shout out in my next video. Just like these three people here. I don't know, this might be my last video with this. I want to get back into regular degular acrylic, regular degular poly gel, all that good stuff. So I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comments whether y'all like this or not. We can move on, okay? We don't got to stick with this. As y'all can see, I already have some nails on right here. This is from my Christmas series I'm currently doing on Instagram. So if you don't have me on Instagram, if you want to get into this Christmas series with me, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram so you can see all of the Christmas Christmas looks I come up with. So we gotta pop these off so we can get started. All right, y'all, so we have this tape here. Okay, so on the five minute craft video, they have this woman working on her car and then she pops the nail and then she puts the tape on the nail and then boom, you have a whole tape nail. Listen, that's not even believable. I already know that's not gonna work. It's not realistic, but we are gonna try to make this as realistic as we can. As you can see, I do not have no red tape like they got in that video. We just got some clear tape. So I want to take some clear scotch tape and then I'm just gonna fold it in half. And I'm gonna do a full set by the way. Oh no, we have some lumps. Ah, I did not want that. We gonna see if we can work around that. Okay, so now what I'm gonna try to do is cut out a nail right there. We're gonna cut the cuticle out and then the rest of the nail. So let me see, let me try. So first and foremost, let's just cut out a nice little strip, right? Ooh, is that too skinny? Oh, that's a little too skinny. Let's go here. Okay. And then now I'm just gonna cut out the cuticle area. Kind of round that part out a little bit. Like that. So I feel like once it fits like semi-perfectly to your nail bed, then we gonna beef it up a little bit. We are gonna make it thicker and more sturdy by layering it in some more tape. And I'm just gonna take this tape and kind of fold it over. Hopefully I don't create any bubbles. And that should be good. Yeah, we got a little bit of bubble action on the side, but we're just gonna cut that off. That's fine, as long as there's no bubbles in the middle of what we want to be our actual nail. And then you'll see the outline. I don't know if y'all can see on camera, but I'm just gonna follow that to cut it out. Mm -hmm. 
and there you have it all cut out it still fits my nail perfectly and it's a little beefed up we want a little sturdiness now you can make this thicker if you want to i think i'm gonna add just one more layer to it with my tape to make it a little bit thicker and then we can move on after that Alrighty, there we go. Now I'm not gonna keep the nail this long. I just want to do the rest of the nails and then figure out how long I wanna do it then. But um, let me make the rest of my nail tips and then come back. Okay, so here's a better look of the nail tips here. And as you can see, they're flat. Like, it's not even giving nail. It's giving very much tape. We gonna have to do something about that. All right, so what I'm gonna do is stack all of the tips, the nail tips up like this, like this, like that. And then this is a cuticle pusher, but I really could have picked anything that can wrap around it. I just wanna create a curve. And I know y'all noticed that little cup of water right here. That's hot water. And I just found this rubber band laying around. Okay, so we got it all on here. This is just basically to give this tape a curve of some sort. I got some warm water here and I'm just gonna let it sit in the warm water for, I'll say a good 10 minutes to see if we can get a curve to kind of settle in. We're gonna let that sit. Much, much later. Oh my gosh, y'all. I've been going for about, I wanna say two hours. <laughs> so this this better work. It has to. I've been going, the water cold now. The water ain't even hot no more. My boyfriend came and interrupted my video. And it's curved just a tad bit. It's not, it's okay. We gonna work with what we got. It's more curved towards the bottom. Let's try it out. Okay, so I guess you could use um, nail glue if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use gel top coat. And we're gonna put a good bit on here and then we're gonna use this as the glue. This is gonna be the glue. And then see how curved that is, but see how it just fits the nail so perfectly with it that. Look at that. Now I'm gonna have to hold this just like this underneath the UV nail lamp. So I'm gonna do that with each of these and then we're gonna come back. I just did this one off camera and if you put enough gel, when I say enough, put more than enough like that, just like that. Then basically all you have to do with the tape is just place it on there. Make sure it's straight of course, but just place it on there and then the gel will spread throughout and then you can let it go and it'll stay just like that. And then you can place it underneath the UV nail lamp. <sighs> okay. Okay, that way you can put your hand underneath without having to hold it under there. Now I just knocked this off off camera so I'm just gonna buff out my nail just a little bit so they're not easy to just pop off like that one did. All right, so of course I wanna cut them down, but I'm so scared because I don't wanna like flatten it out. And I wanna try to cut it as straight as possible. You know what, yeah, let's just flatten it out. It's not that big of a deal. Ooh, try to get that straighter. Hmm, that's a little straighter. And do the rest just like that. So that's what it looks like. 
and it, it's looking it's looking promising like i'm not upset with it so just to make it a little easier to file because right now it's a little flimsy i'm gonna add a little top coat Oh. All right, and I'm even going to get right here underneath. Like right there underneath. Yeah, so we can strengthen that bottom. I got to flip my little hand over. Oh, it's finished. No, you're not. I had to flip my hand over so it can cure underneath. Look at that. My arm hurt. <sighs> they look like little icicles. Look at that. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my 80 grit Hannah brush and hopefully strong enough to even file. I'm gonna be like as gentle as I can. I honestly think this is gonna come off. Oh no, it's coming out. Okay, all right. I'm gonna buff out the surface and then I'm gonna put it back on with gel and that should stick. So, disclaimer, you might wanna buff off the surface of your nail before you put the tape on with the gel polish so it can adhere better. So that's what I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna start fouling again, that should be good. This is how they're looking. Just give it a chance, okay guys? Give it a chance. I'm gonna get my buffer, take my buffer and finish buffing out the rest. But we're almost done. All right, so I've been dying to use this polish from Madame Glam. It's called Caffeinated. Uh, I'm not crazy about the color, so I'm gonna change it in one, two. All right, that looks much, much better. Don't you agree? Now, they look pretty good, but I will say, y'all, listen, this is just for fun and giggles, okay? Because this stuff takes way too long to put together, and I'm pretty sure it wouldn't last that long. So this hack will have to be a no-go for me, but I'll give it like a four out of 10 just because it looks nice. I know this is a little detour from my usual content, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And y'all, next week we're getting back to regular content. So put down in the comments what you guys want to see. I'm currently brainstorming on some new series ideas. So if you have any ideas for me make sure you put them down in the comments and if i like one idea i'll give you a shout out in my next video whenever i do it but anyways thank you guys for watching this far if you have done so and i will see you guys in my very next video next week bye guys